Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to Murder Mystery 2. I'm going to be teaching you today how to win every 1v1, every round, no matter if you're sheriff, murderer, or innocent. It's really simple and it takes advantage of a game mechanic that is through the R15 package with the avatar. So let's just get into it. So as you can see right now, I'm completely hidden in this bush because I am the smallest avatar you can be in any Roblox game as far as I'm aware so far. Um, and this is a little bit of a pay to win because um, this is using two different packs. I think one of them, the robot was free, I'm not really sure, but the gnome does cost a little bit of Robux. However, if you want to win, sometimes you do have to pay to win. But um, this is basically for those people who have Robux and want to mess around or like get into really good hiding spots in Murder Mystery 2. So as you can see, I'm about the size of this box, whereas normally Roblox avatars are about like two of me, like um, w another version of me stacked on top of myself would equal one. Like let's use Nicholas for reference. This is the size of a Roblox avatar, a normal one. As you can see, it's like about another like version of me on top of myself. So basically using two different packs, using the gnome legs and then the robot body torso, um, we've been able to get super duper small. So this is going to help us with using uh, good hiding spots, it's going to help us avoid getting shot or stabbed, um, and it's going to make us a little bit uh, harder to kill. Now to even get more OP, the best knife that you can use for when you're murderer is death shard because it throws sideways, not to mention uh, when it's thrown. If the person doesn't immediately see you throw it, it'll be hard to see because the knife is actually very small. The gun mechanics work the same for all of the guns, so I'm going to be using my leaderboard trophy, but feel free to use something maybe a little bit more non-discreet, like discreet, maybe like to match. For example, we'll use, how about we'll just use, where was, oh yeah, it's in season one, we'll just use the default gun. Um, it's gray, it's not colored, it's discreet, it's like the death shard. So this is essentially like the best for avoiding getting killed. So now we're going to go into some public games. I don't know if we'll get murder or sheriff, but we will definitely be innocent. And we're going to basically avoid getting killed for every single round. That's the goal. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's do it. Alright, so we just loaded in and as you can see, I'm basically like half of their size, maybe like two thirds of their size. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna basically hide. Okay, we're innocent. So our goal here is to not get stabbed. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, there's not a lot of good hiding spots um, in this game in particular. I mean, not, not in this game, in this map. There's not a lot of good hiding spots in this map. So what we're gonna do is we are going to hide up here. Hopefully nobody will see us. We're gonna turn our backs and we're just gonna chill up here. Um, we might actually be able to make it on top of that shelf now that I think about it. I don't think anybody will see us over here. So wait, let's go ahead and do that. I don't think anybody will find us up here. It's like a really good hiding spot. So basically, you when you're this small, Normal avatars would stick out and be very easy to spot, but when you're this small, I think people are going to overlook it. That's that's my thought process here. Um, if I had coins, I'd do like an unboxing for you guys while we're sitting here, so that way I can show you guys, but um, I don't. I think once we get to like the 850 mark, I'll go ahead and run out if I'm not already dead. The goal is to not die here, but obviously if there's somebody who's like a really good MM2 player, I think I'm the highest level. This is probably like the closest to good in the server and even then, okay, we, they got shot, whoever it was. But like, I don't think someone's gonna look up to like these kinds of tricky spots is what I'm trying to get at. But let's go ahead and jump into another round and hope that maybe we're the murderer or the sheriff so that way I can show you guys the other benefits to having such a small avatar. All right, we're innocent again. Okay, that's unfortunate, but this does mean we can try out some tricky spots in this game. So that's a decent spot right there. I mean, this is probably one of the best hiding spot rooms, not even lying. Wait, oh my gosh, imagine if we can get back here, can we? And then turn around. Dude, I don't think anyone's gonna find us here. This is actually like an OP spot. 
like the chances of someone looking back here is like really really slim because like when they're coming down the stairs they're just gonna see the box and if they're coming through the vent they're gonna not see me because of the angle this might be like a really really good spot now if i was full size my head would be sticking out and i'd be like a blocky character so you'd be able to see me but because i'm such a small avatar they won't be able to see me and these spots are like actually overpowered so obviously you're gonna spend a little bit of Robux to get this advantage, but if you have the Robux and you want to win almost every game um, of MM2, so far we have a win, reek, uh, a win streak of one. So like if you wanna increase your chances of winning, if you wanna do some really cool hiding spots, if you wanna be able to juke the murderer more, then obviously this is kind of worth it, especially for content purposes. I mean, like look how small I am. I'm just as big as that box. Um, the next time on that map, I'm gonna see if I can get underneath the shelf. That'd be overpowered. But let's go ahead and vote for the next map. I really hope I'm Murderer or Sheriff because I do want to show you guys how small I am. Alright, we are the Sheriff. So, we're on House, which is my least favorite map in this game. Um, okay. Hopefully we're small enough to not be, like, detected. That's my goal here. Obviously, I, I don't know if that'll happen. I don't know who the murderer is yet either, so that's not ideal. It would be helpful if I knew who had the knife. It could be an AFK person or it could literally just be any one of these people which is most likely, I think it might be that bacon. No, really? Okay. I don't like that that bacon is there. I don't know who it is. I don't think they've killed yet. And if they've killed already, they've been very, like, discreet about it. Or I've just literally not heard it yet. Is it you? It could be somebody AFK, but I don't think there's any AFK people in this server. Unless they're, like, in the garage or something. Uh-oh. Okay, somebody's died. But I don't know who it is. It's possibly one of these bacon hairs. Or her? I don't know. It could literally be any of them. It could even be one of the girls. Dude, I don't know. There's so many people. Hopefully somebody kills in the next, like... 50 seconds so somebody's dead but they could have just like reset although I'm pretty sure they got stabbed ah so it was him all along the bacon hair noob. All right, so as you can see right there, he didn't see me behind the sofa. So I'm about the same height as the sofa actually. So it's actually pretty helpful if I'm being honest. So yeah, oh, look how tall, I mean, how small I am in um, the, uh, the end screen. Okay, hopefully we can get murder because I want to show murder. We've shown, okay, this is, this would be a beautiful map for murder. Oh, I hope I murder on Millbase. Millbase with this outfit, I don't think you could literally lose. I think it would be impossible. I, oh, I almost like fit in the size of the fountain. That's crazy. I also fit in the size of the bush. Like, uh, look how small I am. It's crazy. This is the problem with R15. Like for games that have R15 enabled, anybody can do this. Anybody can be this small. I'm not the murderer. All right, that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and cut here like usual until we are the murderer. We are finally the murderer and we're not gonna, we're not gonna let this one get away from us. 
Um, we are going to make sure to win this. So, since this whole video is basically like us cheating, um, okay, the, the, well, this makes our job way easier. Um, this video is basically us cheating, so obviously I had to put x-ray on, I mean, are you really cheating in MM2 if you're not using x-ray? Let's be honest here. So she's basically stuck back there. Well, um, it would appear we are almost done. I don't remember what room they were in. Ah, here. And there you go. Um, X-ray is also overpowered, not to mention the small avatar is also overpowered. So it's like overpowered plus overpowered. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you now understand why this outfit's a little bit useful. Uh, you can hide in literally the smallest of cracks and always pretty much win. Uh, I'd say it's like a 75 to 90% chance of actually winning. Uh, it's very easy, especially when you have like this small of an avatar. Um, I think the uh what's it called laboratory i think it's called laboratory I, I don't remember the name of the map the map with like the acid pool and stuff that's the best map to use this because there is so many overpowered hiding spots there um so yeah we basically just cheated to win in murder mystery 2 by paying robux this is the problem with having r15 enabled on a game so for all of you developers out there maybe don't enable r15 for murder mystery type games because it will be abused severely anyways i'll see you guys later peace out